And the COVID-19 pandemic, of course, has hit many Americans hard financially. And in an attempt to ease that strain, stimulus checks are rolling out. Our Karen Waugh spoke to a money expert today to get all of your questions answered. Today is traditionally tax day when we think about paying money to the government. But instead, this morning, many Americans woke up with a stimulus check from the government. That's one of the misconceptions about the stimulus check is that there are strings attached. You know, you're not going to have to pay it back or, or they're going to watch how you spend it. None of that's the case. If you're a taxpayer making less than $75,000 a year, you should get $1,200 in your bank account. If you're a couple making less than $150,000 a year, you should see $2,400, along with $500 for each of your kids under 17. If you're single and make up to $99,000, you'll still get part of that check. And if you're a married couple, you can make up to $198,000 and still get part of that check. And if you didn't receive any money yet, it might be because you haven't filed your taxes for 2018 or 2019. Do that as soon as possible to get your stimulus check. Those people that are not banking, so they're going to have to receive a paper check. But it's going to take a few weeks, maybe even a couple months. Payments are also going out in reverse income order. So people with the lowest incomes are getting checks first, and people with higher incomes should look out later this month. Yeah, this $1,200 is not going to hold you over for very long, so you have to be very, very thoughtful. In Kern County, how far can this money go? According to the U.S. Census, $1,200 will be enough to cover the local median rent of $956. And if you're a couple getting $2,400, that could cover the median mortgage of $1,490. Before you just rush to, to make that rent payment, Make sure that you have to this month. Reach out to your landlord. They might give you a break. Similarly, Anderson says you should hold off on paying debt. Your mortgage, potentially, you can delay that. Call the credit card company, see if they can delay that. That way you can stretch out this money as long as possible. So focus on immediate necessities. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, a household spends an average of $372 a month on food at home. 1200 bucks will get you about three months of food. It's a one-time thing right now, but I would not be surprised if we see a second round of stimulus. Now, if you don't usually file your taxes because your income's too low or for another reason, the IRS still has a form where you can request a stimulus check, which we'll link on our website, kget.com. We'll also have a link on our website where you can track your stimulus check if you're still waiting for it. In Bakersfield, Karen Hua, 17 News.